Now don't lean on this effect as an excuse to be lazy with setting up your levels or maybe isolating your recordings. It can help, but it's not a magic bullet. I mean, imagine if your vocal quietens down to a whisper and it's below the threshold, it's going to get cut out too. I mean, having said that, a noise gate is great for applications where a signal is just inherently noisy, like, uh, say, a guitar amp. It's also uh, perfect for quietening down a vocal track where you have a lot of headphone bleed, you know, coming off the headphones in there. A lot of vocalists will slip one headphone cup off their ear to help them keep pitch. If your vocal mic picks up that vocal bleed off the headphones, then it can really start to build up, especially when you have a ton of vocal tracks. Throw a gate on them and you're good to go. Now, in all three of these effects, think about which method would I like to uh, use, either routing or insert. Yep, insert because it's affecting the entire signal. We'd insert these effects in line with our signal. EQs are an effect that we use all the time in, in our daily life. We mess with the bass and treble on our guitar amps, our stereos, our car stereos, and their function is either to boost up or pull down certain bands across the frequency spectrum. Let's take the most basic EQ we have, a typical bass and treble knobs. At the 12 o'clock position, we're doing nothing, but it, as we turn that to the right, if we would grab the treble, turn that to the right, we'd be boosting up the high end, or turn it to the left, we'd be scooping out the top end. The same thing with the, the bass, boost that up, we'd be boosting up the lows or pulling out the lows. And um, that can be used to kind of highlight parts of the mix. Maybe if your bass track is too boomy, you could take a little bit of that out of the bass track. If your vocal is maybe too dull, then you could go to that channel and boost up a little of that top end. Now, having said that, <laughs> I would always use EQ sparingly. If you need a ton of top end to have your vocal cut through, then that vocal is probably not recorded well. Maybe the talent was too close to a cardioid mic and the proximity effect was coloring that signal. Maybe you need to pull out some of the, um, maybe the other parts in your mix that are competing in that neighborhood. If you're using certainly more than 6 dB of boost, I would really step back and ask myself, Look, what is the problem here with this track and also the blend of the other instruments? So let's look at several of the main types of EQ and a great way to do that visually is to see a quite comprehensive one that's inside Reason uh, or Record.